<laughs> All right, so we got the input kind of shaped up, got the mic cleaned up, got the low end kind of dealt with, but dealing with some of the inconsistencies in the tonality and just the intensity and just yep. from a live singer, we need to get into the compression and the DSing and stuff like that. So yeah. let's hit that as we just kind of keep going down the chain here. Okay, cool. So yeah, compression is like a utility to level out problems. Right. But for vocal, really, it's a part of the sound to me. Yeah. Like I, I can't imagine a scenario where I wouldn't use it. Yeah. So let's see what we got here. Jesus, you're faithful. Always. All right, so our EQ's in. So now I'm just going to pop this guy on. And I generally go to somewhere in the three, four, five <laughs> range. You know, every compressor tends to respond a little differently. Yeah. So it's hard to go, oh, just dial up three and a half to one on a vocal right. and right. reduce by 10 dB. They right. all sound so different. Not only the compressor sounds different, but the singer right. can be so dynamically different from right. singer to singer. Very true. So roll that down there. Well, let's just listen and turn some knobs. I still believe you're my healer, Jesus, your faith. Okay, so I, I like where it's going, but I want it to go, um, the attack needs to be a little slower so the transients still come through. It's yeah. one millisecond right now. I still believe you're my healer, Jesus, your faith. Okay, so I like that. And now the release, I'm just going to really speed this up. Personally, I like these to sound as fast as possible. Agreed. It's like the yep. old 1176 style. Yeah. Yep. So I just crank them down. Yeah. And however, this one, however low it'll go. However fast it'll go on vocal, yeah. I still believe you're my healer, Jesus, you're faithful. So, let me challenge, challenge them on this. Yeah. So a lot of times with a lot of the singers, uh, especially in church settings, I've been going to the 10 to 1 ratio on yeah. compression I was, to make it a limiter. No, I agree. This one still feels like I'm kind hearing of it pumping. push pull. It's yeah, pumping. Yeah, right. it's doing something weird there. So if we do that, that means we've got to, we'll have to adjust the threshold of right. to, to make up for that. Yep. Let's crank that down. You are greater. I still believe you're in control. So if you're staring at the meter, this is going to freak you out. So it's another lesson and just Jesus, listen to it. Just listen to it. But if you're treating it like a limiter, it really is just a leveler. It's a leveler. I'm going to speed that up a little. Oh, oh, oh. On the attack. Yeah. yeah. You're my healer, Jesus, your faith. That's better. Feels like the threshold's a little much to me, and just I a still touch. Believe you are greater. But all the ah sounds that need a lot of gain reduction to even them out. Control. Right, getting that without losing the body right. of the tone. I still believe. I like that. You're my healer, Jesus, you're faithful, always. Much more even. I still believe. Okay. That's better. So we're close on the compressor. It's close. So we want to, there's a little bit of S thing going on. Now we brighten, we did brighten the mic just to kind of make up for the darkness yeah. of a 58. It's but more like a shh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like there's a specific thing that's more, uh, common to just that singer, which yep. is kind of why we use a de-esser. So if we're going to clean that up without losing all the air that we put in it, yep. let's see how that affects what we've been doing. See hey, if look. we can find that frequency. There's yeah. a de-esser already on here. Wow. It just came up. Well, yeah. It's kind of magic. You're my healer, Pop this on. Jesus, your faith. Okay, so we've got a solo here. Okay. Now what is this doing? Now we can solo just the band that we're going to DS. Right. I'm gonna go to band pass. Somewhere in there. Yeah, right in there. Yeah. Okay. So now we've targeted what it's gonna be. 
So now I'm going to turn the fader back up and we'll yep. start meshing with threshold ratio. I still believe. I'm going to crank this ratio up. Oh, oh, I still believe. You know, I'll just start rolling this down. Yep. My healer, Jesus, your faith. Not getting them yet. A little further. Always. And I still believe. Still more. You are greater. I still believe there it goes. Okay. you're in control. Still more. I still believe. There and it's, we go. The cool thing you're about that DSer, it's working so fast. Jesus, it's in and out before you hear it, but it's doing right. what we're trying to get it to do. Like grab grabbing the transient. Yep. I still believe. You know what I may do now that I've done all this? The compressor's changing the tone a bit. This is changing the tone. I want to go back, go back here. To the yeah, EQ. I agree. You're my healer, Jesus, you're faithful. Yeah, a little brighter. Always, and I still believe. Maybe a little more of this out. You are greater. I still believe. Now you got a little sparkle on the ass because yeah. it's not taken over. But it got rid of the shh thing. Is gone, believe. but this is more. That's right. The sizzle's still there. You're my healer. Okay. That's really great. So that would be a normal process of how you would start EQ, high pass filter, compressor, and then it's not always point A to point F and you're done. Right. Sometimes you gotta go back. And adjust things, they and all yeah. work together. And guess what, when we turn the band up, we're probably gonna have to do it again. That's right.